all right i wanted to make a youtube video about all the mods that i've done to my yellow fin 100 i've searched up and down on the internet to find ideas and didn't see a whole lot of information so i just kind of wanted to go through all the mods that i've done uh, we'll start with the motor mount so the motor mount is made out of eighth inch steel since at work it's readily available but anyhow it's just a steel plate with a three inch bend stainless steel hinge that i drilled and tapped with uh, some 1032 stainless screws uh, i cut a hole out in the center where the drain plug was just to keep that initially i just had the handle with the screws holding it to the boat and it was pretty tough, but I decided to go ahead and drill two more holes and add uh, some well nuts for just added security, I guess. Uh, the actuator is a 12 volt Windy Nation uh, with a 12 inch stroke. And that's what raises and lowers my trailer motor. It's got stainless steel eye bolt. Uh, stainless steel uh, links three of them <clears throat> the trailer motor is a Minn Kota C230 30 pound thrust uh, I, I ended up shortening the shaft by about roughly six eight inches I just cut it down and uh, I cut the, the yellow and the white wire because I'm only gonna be needing the positive and negative so I cut those, capped them off, tucked them back down in the shaft, and then uh, I put a bunch of silicone in the shaft just in case water was to try to get back in. It, it wouldn't make it past the silicone. Then I got a three quarter inch PVC 90 that's glued by thread. And I used a heat gun to soften up where it goes over on the glue side and stretched it over the uh, shaft, which was fairly easy. And then I got a half inch, or I'm sorry, a three quarter inch threaded gland nut to take the positive and negative wires from my trolling motor and ran it back to this waterproof SAE outlet. And then I have the another one for the actuator Got one for the motor, one for the actuator. The actuator SAE outlet is actually 16 gauge and the trailer motor outlet is 10 gauge. So all, all my trailer, trailer motor uh, wiring is 10 gauge. And both of those outlets right there run, run back to the pulse width modulator that I created in here. Let me remove this waterproof bag. But anyhow, this is the pulse width modulator inside this waterproof box. So I got troller motor wires running into the pulse width. This is the, the batteries positive and negative running in. And then this smaller one is the actuator. So the actuator goes into the outlet back there, runs over to a switch that I mounted here. And then from the switch, it goes into the pulse width modulator where I have it tied on to the uh, positive and negative of the uh, troller motor. And the pulse width modulator came with, uh, it came with, with uh, this um, control knob and it came with a smaller switch that I ended up switching out for a waterproof. But anyhow, I didn't want that huge box by my side so i wanted to make it more compact so i cut the wires to the switch 
and the wires to the control knob, a speed control knob. And I used 22 gauge eight conductor wire, which is commonly used for security systems or thermostats for a house. But anyhow, it leaves the, it leaves the pulse width modulator via cable gland right there, as you can see, waterproof. And it runs over to this cable gland right here. And then this is how I control my motor. And I got the forward and reverse and zero to 100 control here. Um, as far as steering goes, I just got this. I wanted to utilize the handle that came with my troller motor. So I got a plate, I believe it's like four inches by three inches and I riveted it to the sidewall. It has a piece of all thread welded to it, roughly about three inches long. And I just use a stainless steel hardware. It's a stainless steel piece of rod, stainless steel uh, locking nut, a couple washers. That's how I mounted the handle that controls the steering. That's pretty easy. And then right here, if I want to raise and lower the motor, I can just flip the switch up or down. business now as far as the wiring to the battery I have that on an outlet here but these wires I plan on changing I need to get a 60 amp circuit breaker or really I just plan on getting the uh, Minn Kota battery box that has all that built in then I could tidy up those wires and then I just got a battery that I got from Walmart. It's a Everstart Marine 24 DC. Uh, seems to be you get about four hours on a Minn Kota C230. So, which is plenty enough for me. But, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it.